Johnny Depp and Amber Heard got married in the 15th of February 2015, but what follows are a series of injuries and drama in their relationship that make up a big portion of this video. So, strap on your seatbelts and get ready for a roller coaster ride on the truth of Disney rehiring Johnny Depp after his trial with ex wife Amber Heard. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button for more of the celebrity. Now, on to the video. Before the orders of protection, before the divorce, and even before the marriage, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard first knew each other as co stars on the set of a film back in 2009. According to Entertainment Tonight, Depp and Heard first met while filming The Rum Diary in October 2009, where they were cast as each other's love interests in the film adaptation of the Hunter S. Thompson novel. The couple started dating back in 2012 after calling it quits with his long-term relationship, Vanessa Parody. Both kept it private and made their first appearance as a couple at the 7th annual Heaven Gala in 2014 and later on reportedly engaged. The fun and love would be short-lived. However, trouble reportedly started to hinder the couple's relationship practically as soon as they tied the knot. In March 2015, Depp reportedly got into an argument with Heard and proceeded to smash bottles, windows, and other items around the residence. Depp reportedly sliced off a portion of one of his fingers during the incident. Instead of immediately seeking medical attention for his finger, Depp allegedly stuck the stump in a can of paint and used it to write Billy Bob and Easy Amber on a mirror referring to Depp's accusations that Heard cheated on him with her London Fields co-star, Billy Bob Thornton. In May of that year, the couple faced legal trouble in Australia after local authorities learned that Depp and Heard illegally brought the Yorkshire Terriers to the country when they failed to subject the dogs to Australia's 10-day quarantine. The couple could have faced a sentence up to 10 years in prison, but were instead only required to issue an apology in an infamous video where they awkwardly apologized for violating the country's biosecurity codes by not declaring the dogs. In 2016, the divorce and legal proceedings started. The couple continued to suffer from reports of abuse and legal troubles in Australia. It seemed like nothing. However, Heard filed for divorce on May 23, 2016, just 15 months after the couple exchanged vows on Depp's private island in the Bahamas. Vanity Fair, who reported that Heard cited irreconcilable differences when she filed for a divorce petition. Meanwhile, Heard filed a temporary restraining order against Depp, claiming that Depp has harmed Heard. Photos showing multiple bruises on Heard's face, which she claimed were caused by her husband in the said petition, that left a judge to order Depp to stay at least 100 yards away from Heard and that he should have no contact with her estranged wife. Heard later on received a divorce settlement of $7 million and donated it to the American Civil Liberties Union and the Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Everything was quiet on the Depp Heard front until December 2018, when the Washington Post published an op-ed from Heard titled, I Spoke Up Against Sexual Violence and Faced Our Culture's Wrath. That has to change. Although Heard never explicitly named Depp or any specific encounters of domestic abuse by his hand, many believe that she was speaking of her former husband when she mentioned death threats and the hit her career took in the wake of the divorce and allegations. In March 2019, Johnny Depp filed a defamation suit against Heard. Readers of the Washington Post weren't only the ones who thought the op-ed was aimed at Johnny Depp. A $50 million defamation lawsuit was filed by his legal team against his ex-wife, where both argued that the claims in the op-ed were categorically false. The lawsuit also suggests that Heard was actually the aggressor in the relationship and had abused Depp. According to what The Blast reported in April 2019, Johnny Depp's attorney, Adam Waldman, told the outlet that they had numerous eyewitness accounts as well as video and photographic evidence that proved that Heard was faking her claims of injuries. Furthermore, with Johnny Depp in defense of false accusations, he believed that Disney dropped him from the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise in the wake of Heard's op-ed, which his attorneys believed Heard wrote in an attempt to generate positive publicity for Miss Heard and advance her career. The Depp legal team also suggested that the op-ed was released with a hidden agenda to promote Heard's film Aquaman, which was released just three days after the piece was published. Heard dismissed the complaint, stating that Depp became violent on numerous occasions during their relationship. Details of the motions were technically the examples of abuse on her caused by Depp, who she referred to as the monster when he would act that way. A month later, on May 20th, 2019, Depp and his legal team filed an opposition to Heard's motion, arguing that Heard had made up the allegations against her ex-husband 
and that she had gone to court in painted on bruises. On the other hand, Depp argued as well that Heard had been abusing him throughout the relationship, but that's not the end of the story. In fact, it has only grown more far-reaching in the months since motions were filed from both parties. In July 2019, an announcement was made by Depp's legal team that it would subpoena James Franco after he was spotted in a 2016 surveillance video alongside Heard after she reportedly got into a fight with Depp. Franco reportedly lived in the same apartment complex as Depp and Heard at the time of the incident. In lieu of providing testimony if the suit goes to trial, Franco has filed a request to provide a sealed deposition. The whole situation was further muddled in early 2020 when audio from a 2015 therapy session involving the couple was leaked online. Throughout the audio, Heard and Depp both can be heard acknowledging their anger issues before both agreed to put an end to the physical violence before things went too far. It revolved around newsworthy portions of Heard's alleged confession to hitting Depp during their relationship. Miss Heard continues to burden this court with frivolous, unnecessary motions that violate the rules of the Virginia Supreme Court. However, Mr. Depp respectfully requested that the court deny Miss Heard's latest motion from digging for demands for more details as the matter heads trial later this year, claiming that Depp, the defendant's motion, is an inexcusable abuse of discovery process and is led with false representations to the court. The battle continues, and it left Depp without some key roles in films, but fortunately that drought might now be over via a video game. Even though the Caribbean franchise hasn't been in the best of places over the last few years, pirate video games and media are still very popular, which leads us to Sea of Thieves. This game came out a few years back and it decided for a special news story that they were going to go and bring Pirates of the Caribbean into the mix, a Disney production franchise, and Johnny Depp's $50 million defamation suit lives on as Amber Heard's dismissal desire has been denied. Nevertheless, as a result of the libel lawsuit ruling, Depp lost his two biggest roles, Jack Sparrow in the Pirates franchise and Gellert Grindelwald in Warner Bros. Harry Potter spin-off Fantastic Beast series. With over half a million who petitioned for Depp to return to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise in his iconic role, it seemed that Walt Disney Studios may very well find themselves at a crossroads. They will either have to listen to the movie fans who have been loyal to their favorite swashbuckling Black Pearl captain for nearly 20 years, or they will have to attempt a reboot, floundering the franchise without the character they are still relying for success. Disney was biased and prejudiced, since it takes two to have an argument, and clearly Amber Heard isn't innocent and has admitted to her violent nature. Everything was proven to be just a hoax to gain publicity. Despite this drama in Depp's personal life, Mr. Depp shouldn't be faulted in his acting and movie career by this court of outcome. Disney ought to put that aside, because the public strongly agree that Johnny Depp is the encyclopedia behind the Pirates of the Caribbean series production. Without him, pirates might just as well retire, and why did they let the nasty liar Amber, as the public put it, ruin his life? The effect without him isn't just the same. Disney has apologized to Johnny Depp and was officially rehired as Jack Sparrow. How do you feel after having knowledge and evidence against Johnny Depp and ex-wife Amber Heard and in Disney rehiring the most iconic star of Pirates in Caribbean? Were there more questions in your mind or were you overwhelmed? Let us know in the comments down below and smash that like and subscribe button for more celebrity content just like this. Bye!